Hello, uh, this is a short video about the bug fix release. As usual, there are some problems after a new version is published. So this release is about fixing those. Also, I have forgotten about some uh, features in 1.9 release, so I'm going to make up for that. Okay, so let's start. So the first question which we are all often getting is uh, how to use the updater and how to update to a new version. So I'm going to show you. Um, this is my PO Solver folder. So when you uh, install the software, you get something like that. And to update your uh, solver, you just double click on PO updater. And then uh, there is your uh, personal download, download link, which uh, mm, you get in your email. Uh, and also there is a, a path to your folder. So you see that this is C, PO Solver, and that's the same path here. Mm, the updater is going to remember uh, what you insert here and here. Uh, so there is usually no need to edit those. But just in case uh, somehow uh, the info is lost, then you know you have to fill here, and then you just click check for updates and update. It it tells you that you need to uh, close uh, all the PO processes first. So let's close it, mm, and then it takes a while and it tells me that my PO solver is up to date. So that's what you do. If it's not up to date, it's going to download uh, the, uh, the new version and update your files. If you want to force an update for whatever reason, and that reason could be that uh, you lost some files, or you just want to make sure you don't have anything older, then uh, you check force update and then you click. I'm not going to do it now because it takes a while to, uh, to copy. So yeah. And if you can't find the updater in the in your folder, then you go to our website. Let me do it. Go to our website, and then if you click resources and quick start guide, the link to updater is here. So you click it, and you download it, and then you run it. Okay, that's it. Uh, so let's uh, go to more interesting stuff uh, right now. Mm, okay, so uh, the first feature I forgot about is not uh, now you can copy a part of the tree and build a tree from you know from some chosen subtree and then edit bed sizes uh, to add more so to go in more details in some branch. Uh, maybe I'm going to show you an example because it will be easier to understand, understand what I'm talking about. So let's say I have this tree here, which is like 100 BB. I don't know button against big blind, button against big blind spot, and uh, I have like one bed size here, so it's nothing, uh, nothing special. But uh, then let's say I want to uh, analyze this particular turn in more details. So what I can do is I can go to tools and then there is a, let me find it uh, oh I'm sorry it's in the tree it's create subtree configuration. You click it and then it create it cut the tree on the turn and uh, it shows it sh it is already showing the ranges at this point. So what you can do here, you can uh, add more bed sizes. Okay, you want this. Uh, yeah. And uh, you can build the tree from here. So now you have uh, this tree with starting ranges uh, from the previous tree. Uh, but you have more bed sizes, so you can run it, solve it. and you know, solve it in uh, more detail. If you want to go back to the previous tree, you need uh, you need to load it again. So you first save it and then you load it. So you are, again, you are here, and then you can analyze a different term. Let's say seven of space. 
and again three create sub three configuration you can edit build solve so yeah that's it um, let's go to another feature uh, oh there is uh, our hotness feature which got some uh, updates I mentioned uh, in 1.9 video but here uh, I forgot about one thing when you open it cl click in control plus control plus H uh, you can choose strategy for example and then you can click on those cells to change uh, to, ch to change turn cards so this is eight of diamond six of clubs actually this one jack of diamonds so you can use that to um, to change cars so for example when you are interested in how it is on jack of diamond then you open it uh, and say we want queen of clubs so we can see how it's changed right and maybe you can make it smaller and then you can see how you can switch between cards by clicking on those and seeing how the strategies update of course it's going only going to be updated when you have this refresh on new selection trade okay so that's another way to uh, navigate the tree mm, I hope it's useful okay so uh, then there is uh, uh, in the pref preflop tree builder, first uh, first thing is that we have uh, there was a root node missing when we create a new tree, and now it's here again. So yeah, you don't need to worry. And uh, uh, another thing is uh, that when you have a big tree, say I don't know like this, and uh, now you can copy paste the whole branch. So say uh, you want uh, another bed size, like there is an uh, uh, opening in size to three BB, like here. And you can you may want to copy it and then paste. So you have another branch now, and then you edit it to I don't know, like five big blinds. Let's say you want to analyze. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's remove. And we want to change the range. And now you want to uh, analyze, you know, a, a bigger, uh, bigger, um, bigger opening size. So yeah, yeah, it's easier this way to just uh, you you don't need to click uh, the whole sub tree again. You can just copy. Uh, so that should be useful for high volume users. Um, okay. So another feature feature is that now you can uh, uh, drag and drop files to uh, to the viewer. Uh, so the most basic use case is that uh, let me do it. The most basic use case is that you have some uh, save files like here. And then uh, I, you can drag drag them to the viewer, and it's going to be opened. Uh, right. uh, yeah. So this is our preflop solution for 9BB because I had had this here. Uh, yeah. Mm, so that's uh, something you may want. Uh, you can also tr drag and drop config files. So, for example, when you have those three configurations, and then you go to uh, the folder to find them, you can drag and drop them as well. So it's going to work with both saves and configs. So uh, again, uh, let's go to another feature. Uh, so let me look at my cheat sheet. Um, oh, uh, there is this uh, feature when you can load the tree in same same folder, and there was a small bug. Uh, uh, in 1.9 release, so it didn't work for older configuration, but it, configurations, but it works now. So let me show it uh, when you when we have this tree here, and I have uh, 600 uh, trees with the same structure solved here in this folder. I can go here and click load tree in the same folder, and I have this con uh, this uh, form here to choose my blobs from. You can see that there are uh, 630 total. Uh, so, yeah, let's say I want this, and it's here. And also, I can open it using a shortcut uh, from my keyboard, which is Control plus Shift plus O. Let's do it. So you can uh, change between them quicker. Yeah. 
uh, you can also change the default action uh, so it's the, it opens in the browser and not in control configuration if you want. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's, uh, uh, apparently a lot of people use that feature so it's now fixed. You don't need to worry. Uh, okay, so another thing uh, I want to talk about is uh, there's a slight improvement for preflop chart feature and again I'm going to show you. First I'm going to Flip charts. I'm going to remove everything from here and load one of our uh, flip pack solutions, 15 BB in this case. This is an old uh, old pack which I'm using for the videos. Now there are updated ones. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, have you noticed that now those numbers here are visible? Uh, in the previous versions, they often disappeared, but now we change the way they are displayed, so you can see the numbers even if there are many bad sizes and there is not much space. Uh, okay. So I have this preflop solution here, and I want to create my preflop charts. So I go to Tools and then Create Preflop Charts on Current Solution. Uh, so yeah, I can round uh, again, uh, but let's say I don't want to do that, and uh, then. Uh, I, ca I have this new option here, which is useful starting uh, range for all charts. So let's see what it does when it checks. When it, when it is checked, uh, checkbox, checkbox, checkbox on, and I have the folder. This is just preflop charts 15 BB. And then I do it again, so I have all of them, mm, but this time I will do 15 BP check box off. And now when I go to our uh, range, uh, to our editor, then you can see that there are those charts. So let's see what, how they are different. When, you have, when we have this uh, checkbox off, then uh, there is a weight included in the chart. So uh, you can see not only frequencies, but also how often a given, a given hand is in the range. And when the checkbox is off, off I mean when it's on, then uh, you can see strategies for all the hands which are not weighted by current weight. So that's it. Uh, yeah, by the way, there are some features for high, high volume users now that you can copy color. Uh, for example, when you have some chart, when you, you know, edit your favorite color and it's, I don't know, like some non-standard something and you spend some time to edit in this, then you can just copy this color and paste to another chart. Uh, I, I mean, it's, I know it sounds very minor, but there are a lot of people apparently who create a lot of charts, so yeah, we try to make your life as easy as possible, as possible. And then again, you can you know, change them like that and copy, copy paste the colors and and all that stuff. Mm, so yeah, mm, that's about that. Uh, okay, so there's a, there are also two important bug fixes. One is in the viewer. Uh, before, when we have this generate script uh, window, and with the they, there was a very long script, it was impossible to edit. So, for example, if you wanted to add ignore memory check uh, you weren't able to do that now you can uh, as you can see you can uh, edit that so that's fixed because there was some length limit before but now it's fixed so it's going to work and another uh, thing is in the solver itself uh, and uh, you can see that I'm using 1.9.1 uh, 1 .9 .1 version which is not uh, yet available for you but it's got, probably going to be shipped in a few days and uh, it fixes some crashes which uh, happen very rarely in the first place but they could happen on some computers so um, yeah um, i hope it is fixed now so this is a very minor thing but uh, maybe it's worth up, uh, updating at some point again when it's available um okay uh let me think if there's anything else um, there is nothing on the list, uh, but I remember uh, after we published this 1.9 release, there were some questions. Uh, 
There are questions about uh, graph, and we got a lot of requests about making the graph more useful. But the, also, there was one request to make it uh, disappear uh, all, all together. So those uh, categories here have more space. Maybe it's not visible here, but sometimes, sometimes you can't see all of them. There is a scroll. But uh, you can mitigate that effect by, you know, uh, minimizing the graph like this. So yeah. This, it is not a problem. Uh, okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, again, this is a very minor, quick bug fix release. Uh, I hope the most annoying things are fixed now. And again, uh, if you would like to share any feedback, suggest suggestions, and uh, bug reports, the best place to do that is our two plus two thread. Uh, but the Skype group and the email are good options as well. Mm, okay, so thank you very much and uh, enjoy the solver.